Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this video, I'm going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says, find the current in a 4 ohm resistor using Thevenin's theorem. So let's look at how you are going to solve this question. So you know that to apply Thevenin's theorem, first of all, you will have to take out the 4 ohms resistor and then calculate the voltage across the terminal where the 4 ohms resistor was connected. So I have this circuit here. You don't have the 4 ohms there anymore. Okay. Because you want to measure the voltage across the terminals where it was. Okay, so now that I've taken out the 4 ohms resistor, let's look at how you are going to solve for the VT. So from here, the main source is the 28 volt, and you are going to have a current coming from the 28 volt, which our name as I. This current will split some parts through the 2 ohms, our name as I1, and then some will flow through the 6 ohms, our name as what I2. But because this part of the circuit is open, okay, current will not flow through the 10 ohms resistor, okay. So when the current gets here, that's the I2, it will flow through the 8 ohms resistor. So the current flowing through the 6 ohms and then the 8 ohms will be I2. Okay, so now let's find the value of what I2. Because since um, since you're measuring VTH, okay, at these terminals, okay, it's just like you're measuring... Um, the voltage across the 8 ohms resistor. So let me name this terminal AB. So that means that when you measure the voltage across terminal AB, that will be the same as what VTH, and then that is the voltage drop across the 8 ohms resistor. So our main goal here is to find the voltage drop across the what, 8 ohms resistor. So from here, okay, we can see that VTH okay, will be equal to 8 multiplying what I2, right? So our main goal here will be to find I2. So let's look at how we are going to find I2. Okay, so to find I2, okay, you will see that these 8 ohms and these 6 ohms are in series and then they will all be in parallel with these 2 ohms here, okay. So we are going to calculate for the total resistor, okay, and then that is going to be 8 plus 6, okay, 8 plus 6 which will be parallel to the 2 ohms. So we are going to have 14 times 2. Okay, divide by 14 plus 2. Okay, and then that gives us a value of 1.75 ohms. Okay, so now let's find the current in the circuit. You're going to have I to be equal to 28. Okay, that will be equal to 28 divided by 1.75. Okay, so let's see what you're going to get. So 28 divided by 1.75 will give us a value of 16 amperes. Okay, so now our main goal will be to find I2. Okay, so let's find I2. So we're going to have I2, okay, to be equal to 16, okay, times the 2 ohms, okay, divided by the 8 plus 6 plus 2, okay. This will give us the I2. So let's simplify this and see what you're going to get. When you do this, you're going to get I2 to be 2 amperes. So therefore, we can calculate for the VTH now. We're going to get the VTH, okay, to be equal to 8 multiplying 2, and then this will give us what 16 volts. So this is our VTH now. So let's calculate for the RTH. So I'm going to redraw the circuit. Okay, I redraw this circuit so that we can find the RTH. Okay, so to find the RTH, we will have to short circuit all the voltage sources. Okay, so I'm not going to have the 28 volts here anymore. And then we are measuring the resistance. We are measuring the resistance across this terminal, which would be the RTH. Okay, so you have 10 ohms here, you have 8 ohms here. We have 6 ohms here and then we have 2 ohms here. Okay. So because of this short circuit that we have here, okay, we are not going to consider the the 2 ohms here, right? Because assuming current is coming from where the RTH is, when it gets to when it gets to this node here, okay, because there's no element here, okay, it will choose that direction rather other than flowing through the 2 ohms resistor. So in calculating for the RTH, you're not going to include the 2 ohms. So from here, you see that the 6 and then the 8 ohms are going to be in a parallel connection. So you're going to have 8 parallel 6. And then all this will be in series with the 10 ohms resistor. Okay. We're going to have this to be the RTH. 
So we are going to have 8 times 6, okay, divided by 8 plus 6, right, plus 10. So let's see what you are going to get. So this will give me a value of 13.428, okay, so that will be our RTH. Now let's draw Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So we are going to have this to be the RTH, which is 13.428, and then this will be the 4 ohms resistor and then we are going to have our VTH here ok, we are going to have our VTH here which is what? 16 volt so we are going to find current I which is the current that will be flowing through the 4 ohms resistor so that current I ok, will be equal to the total voltage ok, over the total resistance in that case we are going to have 13.428 ok, plus ohms let's see what you're going to get so we have 16 divided by 13.428 plus 4 then this will give us a value of 0 0.918 ampere so that'll be the current flowing through the 4 ohms resistor